Welcome to November the 2nd. Daylight savings is in. I don't know if I need more coffee or less coffee. My internal clock's all messed up. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Let's jump right into it on Friday the 30th. Was that Friday? Yes, it was. We had a Calling All Devs with Chris Roberts and Core Gameplay Director Richard Tyra. Now, if there's any two guys who know about what's happening in the game, it's these two. And they were talking about the whole death and respawn mechanic, which we've had no news about since, since this all started with a big whole Death of a Spaceman post, which came very early on. And the idea behind the original post was that when you die or you get killed enough times, I mean... You'll come back with a prosthetic limb and then you'll die eventually and you got to give all your stuff to your next of kin and they get yourself. I don't know. I, I can't say I was too excited about that system or that idea, uh, but let's withhold on my judgments until we hear what these guys have to say. But they spoke about a new concept, which we'll get to in this video, uh, which you've heard for the first time, and that is cloning. And there's a big debate. Well, I don't know if it's a debate, but discussion going on in Spectrum right now. But hang on. How do you handle cloning? Because now I know we have jump points and quantum fuel and all these things, but that's crazy if you can transfer the consciousness from one person to a clone. That makes no sense. <laughs> I get it. People want some sort of realism. They want explanation. So a lot of discussion happening on Spectrum right now. Here's Lethality 1 from Imperium saying cloning is one thing, but how do you transfer the consciousness? Another post here from Seder, who belongs to uh, Heroes of Your Story, saying, all right, I'm going to solve your cloning problem. Gives a solution to how are you going to solve the cloning problem. Big discussion going down there. Uh, Nova Fang, who's in uh, Evocati. Why cloning doesn't work in Star Citizen. And a long post about why that's happening there. <laughs> and uh, further discussion there. Uh, Nubafire coming in. Now, when Nubafire comes in with a minute 30 seconds explaining something, you know things are fine. But you know bad things are going down when he comes in with an entire essay and a nine-minute video <laughs> talking about the issue. Uh, another post here from Lieutenant Bradley, who's part of the Protectorate, saying a uh, cloning mechanic is fine. Everyone stop crying about it. Big discussion over there. Let's do one more. Oh, let's do that again. We spoke about you. So uh, let's jump into some edited, uh, some big clips from here so you understand what's happening, and we'll discuss. So first of all, Hi, uh, Richard. The introductions. Hello, how's it going? Get, and uh, some kind of Chris Roberts is going to uh, start talking. I constantly think about it. I die and again. Proud and happy. More and uh, more. And he talks a lot. Kind of and makes hand that. movements. That's uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, Richard, and we finally, we get to bring these things into active development. All right. Uh, the, the, that process is where we're going to start working on it, start testing these ideas, building our tier zero implementa implementations. Here's where information starts where coming we in. Start? So, well, we've already kind of started. So, body dragging was the first feature that we released that kind of gave you the premise to be able to manipulate, uh, you know, dead bodies. Mm -hmm. But as Chris calls out, you know, death is going to be a really important factor in Star Citizen. Now, our death, there's, there's there's kind of three deaths along the spectrum. There's kind of what we're calling like the down state. All right. So here's the first important point he makes here. There are three deaths or three states. Uh, you have the down state where you're injured. You have a cut. You're losing blood. Someone come with a medipen and heal you. You have the dead state now where your body dies, but then you can revive in hospital. And he's going to talk about clones for the first time ever in Star Citizen. And then the third one is a permadeath where you can't clone anymore and your stuff is still passed to the next of kin as was the initial plans. So let him elaborate here. So that's kind of like when you've, you know, your health has gone to zero and you're there. And in that, when you're in that scenario, you'll be able to kind of choose to kind of stay there and be like, okay, I need my buddies to come and rescue me. I need the, you know, law enforcement to come and help me or maybe I've paid for some insurance that rescues my body or something like that right then there is the kind of like you've died in terms of you've you've, you've given up the ghost nobody's coming you're like okay that's it I, i'm leaving that body there and i'm gonna go back to a hospital and be revived and um, but that's kind of part of your dna that dna is kind of going to be re-impregnated into uh, essentially a clone of you and then you'll be so this is new information um we've never spoke about cloning before we've all had some ideas of how it can be done 
um, personal experience from a game I've played in EVE uh, where they have an eloquent solution to it is where you basically download another clone but there is a sense of loss that you can lose your ship and you can lose implants in the body which just died so for the first time now we mentioned clones but the discussions going on I showed you in Spectrum like what about consciousness and uh, this has been done in a movie one of well, well my, my favorite movies in, well one of my favorite movies uh, Six Day Remember this one? This is from the year 2000, all right? And uh, it was with Schwarzenegger. Uh, filmed uh, over beautiful Vancouver. There it is. Beautiful city. And uh, if you recall, they had an eloquent solution for their cloning issue here, which was... Bear with me. They simply take a snapshot of your neural state right here. And there you go. So that took a snapshot of his neural pathways and basically allows them to clone along with some genetic material to re-imprint him into a clone. Let's keep on hearing more. At 8.55, he starts talking about uh, passing on to Nexo Ken right here. Be able to then go back to your location and you'll be able to see, you know, your dead body there. And as long as nobody's been there, you'll be able to retrieve mm -hmm. your gear and so on and so forth. And then so the third aspect in terms of like you passing on to your next of kin and that kind of thing. So what we're actually evaluating now is kind of how this... All right, so the three aspects to repeat them again. First of all, there's a down state where you've been injured. Uh, Metapen can heal you, but uh, prolonged, more serious injuries like a broken bone or fracture will have to go to a med bay to get healed up. Uh, you can be dead, at which point you can respawn in the hospital in a clone. But eventually, also, there'll be permadeath because your DNA degrades over time, is what he explains. And you can only clone a certain amount of times before you actually have to die completely. An interesting take. Uh, let's go hear more about the healing actor status tier 1 at time index 920. Healing and actor status T1. And what that will do is introduce, a, it will introduce drugs. Uh, so you'll have a blood drug level and you'll be able to manipulate things. But it will also mm -hmm. introduce all the different statuses that are surrounding you as a character. So, for example, when you're in battle and you take a really bad wound to the arm, you know, you might say, OK, I've got a, a fracture, you know, so my, my arm, I've got a permanent fracture. Right. I'd have to go back to the hospital to get that repaired. Otherwise, I'm going to start to suffer some status effects that is surrounding that. All right. Makes sense. You get shot in the arm, your bone fractures, the status effect is you're losing blood, but also uh, the repercussions of having a fracture or a break in an arm, for example, is that you won't be able to handle a rifle as well. You won't be able to stay on target. The recoil is going to be much stronger. So there are repercussions to being injured. You can't simply keep on playing with injuries. I mean, you can. The choice is up to you. But there are very serious repercussions and status effects which affect you once you are injured. Uh, I like that so far, not so bad. Let's jump forward to Time Index 1253, where they talk about what happens when your body is unrecoverable. So you've been blown to some of the rings, you can't find where your body is, uh, no one can rescue you. Let's see what they say. ...database and say, okay, like, if, if my body is unrecoverable or my friends can't get to me, mm -hmm. then I'm going to, I'm gonna you know, kind of die and have to be recloned into this body. My DNA is going to have to be re-imprinted into this shell. And during that process, that's the process where your DNA can kind of fracture or kind of lose some of its integrity. And that is kind of what Chris touched on in terms of like you're losing a life in terms of gameplay terms. So and that mm. is what's happening as it's being imprinted into you. And and depending on the, the manner of your death and depending on like, oh, if, if you've just been ignoring all of these stasis and all of your arms don't work and your legs don't work and you've got a brain bleed, you know, some of that DNA integrity as it's been injected back into your body can be re-inherited from those from those basically systemic um, statuses that you've had and that means that you might come back in your body with a prosthetic arm or you might come back that you know your eye color has changed or you're not as tall as you used to be all right well first of all the, the tall thing was just an example that's actually going to happen uh, they can't make shorter characters because they're going to redo all the armors and everything and you won't be able to sit in your ship so uh, forget about the shortness thing but uh, losing DNA integrity, which results in your arm having to come back as prosthetic, that doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, if you're coming into a clone, that clone should be 100% viable and in perfect health. It is a basically a blank slate. It's a clone which you're putting your DNA into. So it doesn't make any sense that you'd come back into a clone with a prosthetic arm unless that clone didn't have an arm to begin with. Uh, I mean, not a big deal. I kind of understand that, that maybe if you had a prosthetic arm and you die then you'll come back in a clone with a prosthetic arm too 
Is that what they're going for? Uh, I don't know, but I mean, coming back with your eye color changing a bit or maybe your face shape changed a bit because of DNA uh, degrading. Interesting touch, a nice touch. Let's forward to Time Index 1430. We're here about the next of kin story. You know, and it's at that stage, that, that permanent permanent death where you're you're having to pass on to your next of kin where it is you know the sins of the father you know you're still going to have some of your reputational statuses but you know they may not be as high as they were because you know it's like oh you know your dad was part of xyz but you know you're going to have to prove yourself all right so this basically refers to uh, organizations not not orgs like uh, member orgs but uh, organizations in the game npc orgs if you belong to a pirate uh, npc or some criminal you have good reputation with some criminal uh, organization in the game itself. When you come back as the next of kin, you will lose those rankings, that status, because they belong to someone else. So a sense of loss in that way. Okay, I get it. Uh, this little piece here is... Uh, tell me about this, guys. What is this? You know, magazines of that. Well, maybe I should take an energy rifle because that recharges. And, and all of uh, What? What? Did I miss something? Is there an energy rifle that recharges in the game? I'm not aware of an energy rifle that recharges unless there is one that will come out, maybe solar powered, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Is there? Have I missed on something? Let me know. Is there an energy rifle that recharges in the game? Because uh, I don't recall seeing any of that. But now let's go to the end of this interview at Time Index 2650. So what we're planning on working on in, you know, in the future, so relatively soon, shall we say, mm. uh, is kind of the, the hospital groundwork. So the hospitals in the locations, uh, the ability for you to be able to go to those hospitals and kind of download your DNA is kind of like your save point or kind of like the area that where you would be respawned. All right, that's actually uh, a lot of information there because you are going to a dangerous area. You know you might die. Where is your respawn point now if you don't have a med bay on a ship or maybe med bays on ships don't do it? Hospitals. Uh, will have to be your save points. So if you're out exploring really far out in space where there's no hospitals, you're out of luck. Uh, I guess this adds a lot of danger to the exploration part of gameplay. That once you die, you're going to be respawning back who knows where, how far back in your journey. So that adds a lot to exploration gameplay, but also setting hospitals as your spawn points, uh, I guess they will have the cloning facilities there maybe. So that's new information to us. Uh, on how the mechanics work. But that basically wraps up uh, what they said there over the half-hour interview that uh, Disco Lando did with Chris Roberts and game played, uh, core gameplay director Richard Tyra. Let me know what you guys think about cloning. Is this something you feel fits well in the game? Does my example of Sixth Day and Schwarzenegger fit in with how they plan to take a neural scan to make the clone carry on your personality? Do you even care about that? If you enjoy my content, guys, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, your comments below. Appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one.